there's one anime that I had a lot of hope for going into it but got really disappointed for in the end, it would be Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. This anime was something that looked really good from the concept and how beautiful it looks, but I find myself with each passing episode being more and more disappointed with it. There are a few reasons for this, which I will go more in depth on later in the video, but briefly I will say it involves both the story and the characters. This anime could have been one of those hidden gem series that no one watches because it's a shoujo, because no one watches shoujo, but instead, the series just ended up being a series that is rightfully not watched by a lot of people. Sometimes, you can look at a series and know right from the outset whether it's going to be a good or bad series, and other times you get hit with surprises and those are the reasons why watching anime can be so great. In saying that though, this anime was a surprise for all the wrong reasons. This anime feels like it was trying to push its characters to do way too much while having beautiful visuals to enhance the experience they wanted the viewer to have, but instead what happened was we got a jumbled mess of a show that goes nowhere and leads to nothing. Not everything this anime tries to push is bad though, I do think there have been some entertaining moments throughout the anime, but not too many, and as I've already briefly said, the anime has nice visuals so that is a plus to the anime, but it could still have definitely been better and it didn't live up to my expectations. But anyway, let's get into talking about all the stuff in more detail and explain why I think this anime isn't what it could have been. But before you do that, it would be awesome if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I make new anime, manga, and webtoon content every single week on a variety of different series and topics. The story in this anime has been really bad. It focuses a lot on romance, which is fine for an anime that is trying to be a romance anime, but that's not what this anime is doing. This anime is trying to be something entirely different. Which is the biggest problem with this anime, it doesn't know what it is. It tries to be an adventure romance story while focusing on isolation and loneliness as well as following your dreams no matter how absurd it may be. And it does all of this in every single episode of the anime. It doesn't ever pick something and focus on it, it has to try and do all of them in every single episode. And I would be okay with that if it did any of these things well, but sadly it doesn't. The storytelling is mediocre at best, which just makes each episode feel like a chore to get through and not super entertaining. I do think there are some funny moments in there as well as some moments that can really pull at your heartstrings, but for the most part, it is just a very visually appealing mediocre anime. If I had to name the thing that I absolutely hate the most about this anime, it would be the characters. At least with the story, I can find some redeeming things, but the characters, not so much. I think there is only one character who I find even remotely entertaining, and that character is just a comic relief character. There are also some side characters that are okay, but that's about it. The main character is pretty annoying. Her one redeeming quality is that she never backs down from anything no matter what, which is both a good and a bad thing. It gets her in a lot of trouble, but it also helps her to solve those very same problems that others would have given up on. But despite that, the rest of her character can be pretty annoying, she doesn't really have any other redeeming qualities. First off, she gets almost no character development throughout the series. She has remained virtually the same despite going through so many hardships. She is still just this stubborn girl who would never back down or let anything get in the way of her work. She has developed in one way though, and that is her work. She has improved drastically in her work, making her more famous across the land, however, that causes her a lot of problems as she has also angered the wrong crowd. Despite how I feel about her character, I still think that she fits pretty well into the world of the series, so at least there's that. The other main character is a fairy dude, and I must say he's pretty cool. He's got a stoic personality, he can be pretty aggressive, but he isn't a bad guy. The only problem I have with his character is the way his relationship is developing with the main girl. It is very weird to see their interactions sometimes because of just how quickly and out of nowhere their feelings developed. But despite that, his character is at least okay, but he also gets like no character development which is a theme in the series for sure. The side characters are okay and serve their purpose, however, there is this one antagonistic figure who appears quite a bit throughout the series and he is extremely annoying right from the very first time we see him and he never gets any better. The opposite actually, he gets so much worse than he ever was before. This series has a massive problem with its character writing that I think holds this series back so much from what it could have been. The one thing about this anime that I can say is that it's fucking gorgeous. The animation is pretty solid, but where this anime really shines is its art style. The art in this anime is so good. I love the aesthetic of this series a lot. It gives off this Candyland vibe which is really cool. Despite this series using a lot of bright colors, it is not afraid to cover some darker themes and the art surprisingly reflects it really well. We also get a lot of really great character designs as well. We get to see a lot of awesome character designs as well. We get to see a wide range of characters, some with round features, others with rougher edges, some pretty, some not. But what this series does really well with its character designs is reflect a character's background and standing in society. 
This series does a really good job at making everything in its world look gorgeous, but also reflecting the problems of this world really well. Sugar Apple Fairy Tale is an anime that had a lot of potential when it first started, but I just don't really think it lived up to it. I don't think the series is bad, but it's definitely mediocre. But I'm not going to hate on someone who likes this anime because there are definitely some things about this anime that are pretty good. So I would say that if you like this type of anime, then you should definitely give it a shot to see if you like it or not. It personally wasn't for me, but it might be for you. 